Hello and welcome back to Technology for Blind YouTube channel. I am back with another interesting video guys. This is about the narrator in Windows 10. Now this is the Windows 10 uh, 18 or 9. Okay. Now I have done a tutorial about Windows 10 19 or 3 on that um, version of Windows. The narrator has been updated and redesigned completely. So first off we will be looking at the uh, Windows 10 1809 narrator and in the other videos uh, I'll be looking at the Windows 10 1903 narrator and its features okay so first off let's look at how this narrator works okay now since I have updated the Windows 10 I'm using a virtual machine to demonstrate this okay so let's get started now I'm gonna end the NVDA. Now, to open the narrator, simply there are two ways. Okay, the first and the most easiest way is to press Windows plus Control plus Enter at the same time, and the other way, simply you can search on the narrator. Uh, sorry, search on the box, search box, uh, N A R etc. Okay, so let's open using the hotkey. Narrator dialog, OK, button, Alt plus O, heads up. Narrator keyboard changes. We've updated the narrator keyboard layout so it more closely matches the experience you may have had with other screen readers. If you want narrator to tell you what commands are associated with the keys you're pressing, you can turn on input learning by pressing caps lock plus one. To turn it off, press caps lock plus one twice. To learn more, Press Ctrl plus Windows logo key and N to open your narrator settings and access the online user guide. So, instead of the insert key, narrator uses the caps lock key as the modify key. Okay, now if you are coming from NVDA or JAWS, uh, the both screen readers are using instead, uh, insert key as the uh, default modify key. Now, Let's uncheck don't show again check box space check. Ch turn off narrator button okay okay button alt Narr narrator quick start heading level one learn the basics of narrator. okay now after taking this quick start guide you don't need to uh, worry about anything because it has included all of the things which you have to learn when you use use narrator okay so let's see main landmark Heading level 1, learn the basics of narrator. Narrator is a screen reader in Windows that reads aloud what's on your screen so you can use the information to navigate your PC. To turn no. narrator on or off, press and hold the Windows logo key, then press control and enter. Yeah. Now, I want to show another thing. If you are visually impaired, this feature would be so much nice for you. Uh, there is a pointer which uh, shows where the narrator currently is on the focus okay when you when it reads a text it shows uh, the focus like, like it, it is very useful now I have turned on the high contrast okay so hope you have in, uh, can see okay so let's go there's an in-depth version of this guide online once you are connected to the internet restart narrator to view it Heading level 2, explore your keyboard. Your keyboard is a tool that can help you control narrator. Narrator commands are often abbreviated like this, narrator key plus 1 this means press and hold the narrator key, then press the number 1 key. This command turns on input learning, which tells you what keys you are pressing, as well as the narrator command associated with them. To turn it off, press narrator key plus 1 twice. You can use caps lock or insert as your narrator key. Heading level 2, navigating pages and apps. Apps. Even when you are not using a screen reader like narrator, you can use your keyboard to get around pages and apps. To move between controls on a page, like check boxes and buttons, press tab or shift plus tab. To switch between apps, Press Alt plus TAB you may need to hold down Alt and press the tab key several times to find the app you want. 
To search for an app, press the Windows logo key, type the name of the app, and choose it from the list. Use the up and down arrow keys to explore lists. To close an app, press Alt plus F4. Heading level 2, more narrator help. Press caps and F1 to hear a full list of narrator commands. To learn more, press the Windows logo key plus Ctrl plus N to open your narrator settings and access the online user guide. Navigation landmark. OK, button, no next item, no next item, navigation landmark. Press, navigate, OK, button, desktop list. Now as I noticed, this is the basic narrator quick start guide. Now when you connect it to the internet, it will show a nice and uh, compact um, quick start guide, okay? Task so or... let's do that. Now I'm gonna connect to... Okay. I have connected. Now, running application see, notification share. The internet connection. User promoted speakers. Network internet access. Okay. Now, let's see whether narrator settings window. Exiting narrator. Exit. Okay. Narrator settings window. Okay. Narrator quick start. Here is the quick start. Heading level one. Welcome to narrator quick start. One of thirteen. This guide shows you the basics of using Narrator. Narrator reads aloud what's on your screen so you can use that information to navigate your PC. To turn it on or off, press and hold the Windows logo key, then press Ctrl and Enter. Every page in this guide will be read to you automatically. Okay. To stop reading, press Ctrl then, use the up or down arrow keys to keep reading from where Narrator left off. Okay. To leave the guide, press and hold Alt. Then press F4. When you're ready, press enter on the start guide button to go to the next screen. Navigation landmark. Start guide. Button. Heading level 1. Explore your keyboard. 2 of 13. Throughout this guide, you'll hear keyboard shortcuts and narrator commands that may be useful to you. They'll sound like this. Caps lock plus 1. That means press and hold caps lock. Then press the number 1 key. This shortcut turns on input learning. Input learning tells you what keys you're pressing on your keyboard, as well as the narrator command associated with them. To turn it off, press and hold caps lock, then press the number one key twice. You'll learn many commands as you go through this guide. You can view a full list of narrator commands anytime by pressing caps lock plus F1. Press enter on the next button to go to the next screen. Navigation landmark. Next. Button. Heading level 1, scan mode, 3 of 13, scan mode is a feature of narrator that lets you use just a few keys to move around your screen, scan mode is already on unless you turned it off. You can practice turning it off and on by pressing caps lock plus space bar. Be sure it's turned on for the remainder of this guide, while you're in scan mode, you can press the up and down arrow keys to read different parts of the page. When you get to something that you want to use, like a link or button, press enter. Navigation landmark. Next. Button. Heading level 1. Reading words and characters. 4 of 13. You can review individual characters in words by using the left and right arrow keys. This is a great way to check spelling. To read word by word, press Ctrl plus left arrow or Ctrl plus right arrow. You can try this now, or go to the next screen. Navigation landmark. Next. Button. Now those are some of the standard Windows keyboards so I don't want to try that and waste your time okay. Heading level 1, headings, 5 of 13. In addition to using the up and down arrow keys, you can also move to different sections on a page using headings. Here are some examples of how different heading levels are read out. Heading level 1, this is a heading level 1, which is often used for page titles. Heading level 2, this is a heading level 2 which is often used for section headings within pages. To move to the next heading, press the H key. To go back to the previous heading, press Shift plus H. You may need to do that on this page. You can try this now, or go to the next screen. Navigation landmark. 
next now these are very very basic terms when it comes to screen readers right now if you are using nvda or jaws doesn't matter these are self explanatory okay so let's go to next heading level 1 landmarks 6 of 13 landmarks are like containers that enclose similar parts of a page or app and you can navigate directly to them they can be a grouping of similar elements like buttons or blocks of text or a single element like a search box landmarks are super common on the web there are generally three types of landmarks navigation landmarks let you move between different parts of an app the next and back buttons on this page are inside a navigation landmark main landmarks are an app's content the words are part of this page's main landmark search landmarks are typically search boxes we'll talk more about these later to move to the next landmark press the d key to go back to the previous landmark press shift plus d you may need to do that on this page you can try this now or go to the next screen navigation landmark next heading level one entering text 7 of 13 text boxes are places on a page where you can enter your own text you'll find them a lot in forms when you land inside a text box scan mode will automatically turn off after you're done typing you can use the down arrow key to keep going if you're in a multi-line text box you may need to press the down arrow several times to get out of the box once you're out of the text box scan mode will turn back on there's a single line text box below go ahead and practice entering text navigation landmark this is a label for a text box editing item described by you're now inside the text box so you can start typing navigation landmark scan back button next button so scan mode is the same thing which is described by nvda as um, browse mode and focus mode okay so let's go next heading level one buttons check boxes and other controls 8 of 13 controls let you take actions and make choices the next and back buttons in this guide are a type of control you'll get to try out several different types of controls on this page to move between them press the up and down arrow keys or press tab or shift plus tab using the tab key will work to move between controls even when you're not using a screen reader like narrator in some cases the up and down arrow keys may move you through a list of choices in a control once you get to the choice you want press enter you'll also press enter to use controls that only have two states like a toggle or checkbox uncheck this is a checkbox text label checkbox this is a combo box text label choose a continent combo box collapse choose a continent one of eight so off this is a toggle text label toggle switch this is a search box text label editing blank navigation landmark scan back next heading level one the narrator key nine of thirteen you may have noticed that caps lock is an essential key in many narrator commands when used in narrator caps lock is also known as the narrator key insert can also serve as your narrator key so when you encounter a command that uses the narrator key just remember that you can use either caps lock or insert the narrator key will be referred to as simply simply narrator narrator in commands from now on navigation landmark next but heading level one important narrator commands 10 of 13 let's go over a few narrator commands that let you customize what and how narrator reads things to you here they are increase narrator voice speed by pressing narrator and the plus sign decrease voice speed by pressing narrator and the minus sign here the current item by pressing narrator and tap here the title of a window by pressing narrator and t to go to the top of a window press narrator and home to go to the bottom of a window press narrator and end to read from wherever you are press narrator and r to read from the top of the window press narrator and w to browse a list of narrator commands press narrator and f1 to open narrator settings press windows logo key plus control plus n navigation landmark next 
button. Heading level 1, try it out, explore a web page, 11 of 13, let's practice what you've learned so far by exploring a sample web page. Here's a reminder of some of the skills you can use, to move up and down a page, press the up and down arrow keys, to review individual text characters, press the left and right arrow keys, to read word by word, press ctrl plus left arrow or ctrl plus right arrow, to move between headings, press the H key, or shift plus H, to move between landmarks, press the D key, or shift plus D. This page has a search box that makes suggestions as you type. Once you hear narrator say, search or enter web address, editing, type the word more. Then, press the up and down arrow keys to move through the options, and press enter to choose one. All the options will take you to the same page, you are now entering the sample web page. When you're ready to move on, find the next button and press enter. Navigation land, search or navigation landmark, scan. Back. Navigation, search or enter web address, editing, blank. Scan off, okay, editing. Okay, let's type more. No. Suggestions available, more e-vegetables please. One of three, Okay, let's select this. More vegetables please, pain. Huh. More vegetable okay. image, fast and healthy. Classic margarita pizza with basil and fresh mozzarella. Oh. Time to prepare. 25. A thin crust is the whole. Okay. Unchecked one and one third cups warm water check box. Select all ingredients. Back. Now button. I'm pressing B. B as Bravo to move by button. Okay. Next. Next. Heading level one. Navigating apps. 12 of 13. The next few skills work whether or not you're using a screen reader like narrator. Heading level two. Switching between apps. When you have several apps open, you can switch between them by pressing Alt plus TAB you may need to hold down Alt, and press the tab key several times to find the app you want. If you try the shortcuts on this page, use Alt plus Tab to get back to this guide. Heading level 2, searching for apps. Pressing the Windows logo key gets you to the start menu, and to the search box on your taskbar. From there, you can enter the name of the app you want to find. Then. Use the up and down arrow keys to move through the options, and press enter to select one. Heading level 2, closing apps. To close an app, press alt plus F4. You may need to press the FN key before you do this. Navigation landmark. Next. Heading level 1, guide summary, 13 of 13, congratulations. You've reached the end of this guide. We hope it was helpful. Each section is linked below so you can review it again if you want. When you're ready to dive deeper, you can check out the Narrator user guide for even more info. Welcome to Narrator, 1 of 13, link. Scan mode, back, but close guide, button. Back, okay. button. So, close guide, desktop list. We have explored the Narrator quick start. Now, let's go to the Narrator main window, pressing Alt, Tab. Narrator settings window okay. to navigate the options in this dialog, now. including an option for the online user guide, press the up and down arrow mm. keys. To review the full set of narrator commands, press caps lock plus F1. To start and stop narrator from the keyboard, press the windows logo key plus control plus enter, scan off. Now, there are several buttons. General, change how narrator starts and other standard settings button navigation change how you interact with your pc using narrator button voice change the speed pitch or volume of the current voice or choose a new voice button commands create your own keyboard commands button user guide read the narrator get started guide online button minimize this window and return to your app button exit narrator button now these are self-explanatory guys, but to navigate the let's general go. space, general. check enable the shortcut to launch narrator, control plus windows key and enter, okay. or windows button and volume up on touch devices, check box, alt plus k. Uncheck lock the narrator key so you don't have to press them for each command, caps lock, check box, alt plus l, check here characters as you type check box, alt plus c. Checked here words you type checkbox, alt plus w. 
checked read out voice narrator errors check box, alt plus R, checked highlight cursor check box, alt plus H, checked check read, check play audio cues check box, alt plus P, checked read UI hints and tips check box, alt plus U. Check lower the volume of other apps when narrator is speaking check box, alt plus A. Retain notifications to be read for 30 seconds, combo box, collapsed, alt plus N. Control whether narrator starts when I sign in, link. Save changes to these settings, button. Discard changes, button. Save changes, space. To navigate the op general, chain, navigation, space. Uncheck read and interact with the screen using the mouse check box, alt plus R. Uncheck activate keys on the touch keyboard when you lift your finger. Check narrator cursor follows keyboard focus check box. Check enable the text insertion point to follow the narrator cursor check box. Select the narrator cursor movement mode, normal, combo box, save changes to these settings, button. Sp to navigate the general navigate voice, change the speed, pitch, or volume of the current voice or choose a new voice, button. When it comes to voice, there are several Space. settings. Voice speed, 50%. Speed. Slider, 55, 60. 60. Voice volume, 100%. Voice slider. volume. Voice pitch, 50%. Speech. Select a different voice for narrator. Now Microsoft there are Zero, English, United States, selected. Microsoft Mark, English, United States, Three selected. Voices. Okay. Microsoft David Desktop. Microsoft Zero Desktop. So. Find other voices. Save changes to these settings to navigate the options in this general. Navigate voice commands. Create command. space commands. Stop reading selected. Selection contains over one. Now these are self explanatory. To navigate the options. So D. Recycle. Let's open Word. Let's see. D. Word. Desktop app. Let's see whether it is accessible. It is completely accessible now. Even you Word can window. use the narrator as your primary screen Document reader. Editing. Because they have improved a lot. Hello and welcome. Yeah, it works fine, right? Blank. Mic space. Close. Microsoft Start Edge. C S space D. Microsoft. Microsoft Edge. Okay. Microsoft Edge window. It works fine, guys. Microsoft Edge. Opening new tab. Loading page. Loading. Still loading. About blank. Paint. Still loading. Microsoft okay. Edge tip. Loading complete. Q. Favorites. Heading level one. Get quick access to the sites you visit most by adding them to your favorites. Okay. Closing tab. Start. Two of two. This Loading one. page. Okay. Loading complete. Now I have Google search. Come button. to the Google. Now Scan. you have to get used to this uh, narrator. Okay. If not, you cannot use this. Let's close. Just top list. Okay. So this will be the end of this video. Final thoughts. Okay. The narrator has been improved a lot since Windows 7. Okay. Uh, I hope you know about Windows 7 narrator so much crappy okay you cannot use narrator Windows 7 narrator even in your uh, system uh, so you cannot use obviously uh, when it comes to internet okay now this narrator the Windows 10 and 8 narrator are very reasonable uh, improvements there are okay so if you are using your relatives computer which is running Windows 10 which is running Windows 10 then this would be the best screen reader for you guys without installing any additional screen readers okay so thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed if you have any questions comments ideas the comment section is welcomed okay for you okay sorry so thank you for watching see you in the next video as usual signing out Shut down Windows dialog. Desktop lit. Mohammad Rashad.